Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Milfoy City with me, Mr. Potato Head. And we're back here doing our vanilla city speed build that I'm building over on TikTok and Instagram. And you can see here what I'm doing is I'm putting in some of the helicopter disaster response or emergency service response units. So they can just get to the more difficult to reach places like parks that don't necessarily have road access. So they're really important. So I've just kind of plopped them all together, put a few kind of low rise offices around there, a radio tower, you know, that might be a traffic control and you can see straight away those helicopters were off into action. The next thing is over here on the um, Festival Island, we can upgrade the festival area and also the park has got heaps of visitors so it just needs more entertainment to rush through those levels. So you can see here, we've already made it up to the next level. We've added in kind of a little glamping site. We're gonna add in a couple more huts. And then down here, I'm just gonna build a little kind of, I picture this being kind of a water sports area. So I'm going to put some kind of tents and um, campfire areas in down there for the evening. Lots of kayaks so that people who are visiting can do some water sports. Maybe people will go for a swim and before you know it, we'll reach those visitors. And like I said, this area was not very popular. So I could have just deleted it, but I decided instead I'm going to blow it up. So I fired a meteor at it and it's kind of completely destroyed it. So now we're just clearing it out. And what I'm going to do instead is actually, um, I'm going to build a theme park in here, the city's first theme park. We're going to center it around this big crater and um yeah so we're gonna have two entrances and for now i'm not gonna do a lot of work on it i'm just gonna chuck down a load of the assets we have unlocked because what i want to do is get it through the levels so that we unlock all the different buildings and then we can be a bit more kind of careful about the way we place it so we'll just make sure it's got lots of good transit links and that'll be fine for now and then the next thing is here you can see we've got this nice bit of land that i'm going to use for some varsity sports stadiums so we're going to try and reuse this intersection but we also need to make it so that you can access this land rather than it just being for the highway so a bit of reworking but reuse as much of it as we can got a nice roundabout there and that'll be fine and then we're going to place the key walls along the edge here so that this is all nice and smooth flatten out the land so it looks nice and tidy just there and then we're going to place some roads running along the edge of the key wall then we're going to chuck in the baseball stadium, ignore the duplicate baseball stadium on the right hand side, that's gonna be deleted very soon. That was just me testing something. And then here, we're gonna link up these roads to this roundabout so that people can get in and around the area nicely. And then over on this side, we're gonna put in this basketball arena. Again, we're gonna link that up and that's looking really good. Happy with that, a bit of water and electricity and we'll be flying. Now, a lot of you said, where is the parking? This area needs parking. So you're right, we do need parking. I'm just gonna use our trick of drawing a district and putting the local and organic produce on and then putting commercial in and they'll spawn parking lots. But we also need to add some more local links. At the moment, everybody has to go over that highway interchange to get in. So we're just adding in a few road connections, a cycle connection to the rest of the city. And here, I'm not sure how reasonable this is, but we're building a big pedestrian bridge so that on match day, all the students from the campus can get across. We're also going to add in a monorail as well. I think this is the kind of thing people coming into the city for games would arrive at the train station and then they can jump straight on the monorail and get to the, the stadiums really quickly. So that's cool. And here you go. What a view that actually gets of the city as you go around as well. So I'm really happy with that. Final thing we're going to do is just add in a few bits of details here and there. Vegetation, trees, landscaping, just to fill in some spaces. A few parks and things to attract more tourists to this area as well. And then just a bit of commercial so that people visiting can do some shopping. So really happy with that actually really pleased with how this turned out better than i expected so we were talking about how people might be arriving into the city and train well what we've got over here now we've got monorail we've got metro and we've got a train so we might as well use one of the proper metro monorail train hubs so i've dropped that in we just need to reconnect all the lines of course so just connecting up the train station again now we're just reconnecting the monorail into there and then the tube line as well we just need to redraw in that line to make sure it's all working properly and there is an opportunity i think to to expand our monorail network over here across the water. So this is quite a big job but at the moment. You know, again, people might come into the city on a train to come to a festival. At the moment, they've got to go all the way through the city to get to that festival island. By doing this, they can jump straight on a monorail and get into the monorail, um, the festival island there. Here we go. Again, this is going to have a beautiful view as it comes across and a really nice way to enter the city. So the final thing we're going to do today is keep leveling up our university. We're getting there since we dropped in those um, vast sports that's really helped but we're not quite there at level five yet so we're going to drop in a few more buildings around and about you can see here like i said before you do have to be really careful with these to make sure you can get them to fit in they don't terraform to land very well so you've got to be creative and here we've got a bit of space here um by the 
tram line and it's got pedestrian connectivity so a perfect opportunity for us to develop our campus some more so we've got enough attractiveness you can see i've done a bit of detailing as well whilst we're waiting and now we're at level five so let's just place down these last few buildings we've unlocked and make the most of our um, university here in the city so we're going to develop this kind of small campus area we built over along the waterfront and then we've unlocked the museum so we're going to get rid of the final base game university that we had put this museum in look at that that's absolutely beautiful really pleased with how that turned out so that's it for this week but whatever you're doing for the rest of the day enjoy it and i'll see you next time